Hi guys, this is Study Glam. Welcome to my channel and I hope you are all doing good. So let's further ado, we will go to the topic we are going to discuss today. So the topic is divided proportional circles. As we know, this is a very important and good topic of the practicals of geography. So first of all, we will um, discuss the like importance of this um, divided proportional circles and then we will go to the methodology that how will we do it right so i have my notes we will go through it once so these are used for showing quantity as example population of a country that can be divided into parts such as different ethnic groups so basic so basically this says that uh, if you were drawing a circle that will show the total number of population if the example is of course population of a country then you are going to divide it into different parts that has a different methodology so and that will show that how much of population is going to be in the like a specific ethnic group so moving on a circle is drawn to represent the total quantity it is then divided into segments proportional in size to the components the actual size of the circle can also be used to represent data so we will know that what are the advantages of this divided proportional circles they give a good visual impression easy to compare various components easy to interpret as segments are arranged in descending order can be used to represent very varying types of data so it can be used to represent various types of data of course it is easy to conduct to draw so these are the advantages so we will move to the methodology how will we do it So after we get the data we need to do the calculation. So for that we need to first know that area of a circle is pi r square. Okay. So here pi r square is equals to total population so we need to calculate this so r square equal to total population divided by pi and r is equals to this so here we need to put an example so in the data we need to see that what is the total population of the states or districts or whatever the units given okay so here we can see that the union territory is jammu and kashmir and it has groups like cultivators agricultural laborers household industries and other workers so this 4 we need to plus this 4 then we will get the total population in this union territory so we need to first plus this all and make the total of this for this union territory so as you can see that the total of the Jammu Kashmir population is this so we need to imply this in this formula so after implying this so what will be the r so now we need to calculate this in the calculator so we need to write this in the calculator first that is 4 3 2 2 7 1 3 
and we will divide it by pi so for that we need to press shift and then this and then is equal to and then we need to do root so this and then this so this is the r we get 1173.01 okay this is my r for this jammu and kashmir so then we will have a table like this a table like this the numbering of the states are here total number of population are here and r which we got you need to write like this and r to scale means you need to, you need to get the r to scale to draw the periphery of the circle right so for choosing the scale you need to see the highest radii meaning r and the lowest radii r then you can choose the scale so for this data highest is 4572.66 and the lowest is 196.47 is the lowest okay so now for this particular sum i have chosen 3000 units meaning one semi will represent this amount of units okay you can have 3 1500 units as well and so on you will do unitary method like 3000 3, units is represented by one centimeter so one unit will be represented by this and then this okay and you will get the art to scale for the union territories the whole six circle is of 360 degree right so to get the degree for each group we need to do individual sector like here maybe the population has cultivators by total population of Jammu Kashmir into 360 degree so we need to calculate this in the calculator so after putting the population amount in the formula we get this now we will draw the divided proportional circles so you will take in the compass the radii to scale what we have done in the calculation so you need to take that and draw a circle so this represents the total amount of population here you will draw a straight line to the point then you need to measure the degrees with the circular instrument so you need to put this zero like this then you need 
need to mark the degrees this way like if the degree amount is like here you now have to join the central point with this point so now we have got our first sector so then to proceed we need to put the zero to the first sector end line like this then we will again need to measure it and plot it the same way so like this way you will complete the work and after you have completed you can color these things these sectors or you can just give symbols like this way hi guys hope you liked the video and sorry for the shakiness because i was uh, holding the camera with one hand and doing the sum with the other so sorry for that but yeah stay tuned and do like share and subscribe and stay safe and stay home bye